So in this segment, and the segment comes out of our course on dealing with dominant and aggressive dogs, we're also going to put this video on YouTube because it's a very common question that we get in our Ask Cindy module in Learberg.com. And for those people that don't know about the dominant and aggressive dog course, it's a course that we released in April of 2023. It has over 20 hours of video in it. And this is just one of a number of segments in one of the 200 and 204 to 210 videos that are in it. So I'm going to talk about what to do in our approach when we're out walking our dog on leash and our dogs are approached by an unleashed dog, be it a dog that has no handler with it or a situation where there is a handler that's allowing his dog or her dog to run loose. Our approach to something like this is we don't let, we don't let our dogs engage with stray dogs at all. Even if the handler is standing back there saying, oh, don't worry, my dog's friendly to all dogs. Our answer to those people is, well, our dogs are not friendly to other dogs because they've had very bad experiences with other dogs. So please get your dog on leash and keep them away from my dogs. So we train our dogs. We train our dogs to understand that we deal with stray dogs. They don't deal with them. So our dogs, when they go through enough of these scenarios I'm going to talk about, are going to learn that, hey, they need to hang back. If we ask them to sit, they're going to sit and let us deal with it. And if a stray dog is coming at us, we tell the owner, as I said, get your dog on leash. If the dog keeps coming, then we stand in front of our dogs and we face off on the dog that's coming and say, get out of here. Get out of here. Go on home. And we're very forceful with our voice. We'll scream at them. We carry a walking stick. If we are walking our dogs in an area where there's even a small chance of having a loose dog come by our dogs, we have a walking stick. Not one of those little skinny ones with a hand pole on the top and a little point on the end. We use a stout walking stick. And I have it with us all the time. The older I get, 75 years old, I need a little help sometime, my walking stick. But I also need a little help with a stray dog. Because if a stray dog comes through me, standing there, hollering at it, faced off at it, I can turn 99% of the dogs away just with my voice and direct eye contact. But the dogs that keep coming are going to feel the stick. And uh, if I have to poke them, if I have to whack them over the head, I do what's necessary to cause that dog to turn around and leave. And if the dog still keeps coming and comes through me, I may ask for a little help from my dogs. And that's something that I don't want to do. It's the last resort. Another last resort could be if you're in an area of using bear spray, if it's legal where you live. Keep in mind, if you're going to use bear spray, Think about it long and hard on which way the wind is blowing. If the issue is with the dogs up here and the wind is coming at me, I want to be real careful. I don't think I'd be using bear spray. I will say this, pepper spray, and when I was on the sheriff's department, I had an opportunity a couple of times to use pepper spray on drug raids that we were on. It doesn't always work. So don't put your, don't bet your life on the bear spray. You have to if you're in the wilderness and you can't carry a gun and they only let you have uh, bear spray in national parks. But that's the last resort. But I'm telling you that if a dog won't stop and keeps coming, I'll lay into him with this stick because I'm not going to risk my dog being attacked by another dog. Once a dog has been attacked, that dog for most of the time and the rest of their life, they're gonna be dog aggressive. They're gonna see another dog and they're gonna take the, the, <laughs> the best defense as a good offense approach. And that's a pain, you don't want that. So once again, if the owners 
will not stop the dog and you have to go after their dog, the owners are going to get kind of pissy with them. I don't know about you, but I have enough friends in my life. I don't care what these idiots do. If they're going to be so stupid to let their dogs run loose in an area where there are other dogs, to hell with them. Just to hell with them. And if it gets bad at all, and it gets nasty, save a little bear spray for the owners. Or, now you don't want to use a walking stick on the owners. But if the cops come, you say, look, I was afraid for my personal safety. I thought their dog was trying to attack me. No matter what it is, that's what you say. And don't listen to these people that are trying to be stupid.